Hi guys, I'm Coach Jay. So today I'm going to bring you strength, balance and flexibility. Before we start the program, make sure you have a mat with you and that's all we need today. You also realize I'm with no shoes. So you do not have to wear shoes for today's program. Alright, also if you are not feeling well today, feel free not to work out today. Join me on another date when you feel better. All good? So we're going to start with a warm-up, easy warm-up. So have your feet keep width apart, shoulder rotation to the back. That's it. Big movement to warm up the shoulders. Good. Feel the stretch. Now we're going to bring it to the front. Let's go. Bring to the front. Shoulder rotation. Big movement. Good. Alright, next movement, we're going to go into core rotation. Have your arms up. Rotate side to side. Feel the stretch of your core. Big movement. And of course, remember to breathe. Just warming up. Next up, we're gonna do side stretch. So again, keep width apart. Stretch the side two times. Two. Two. You should feel the stretch on your obliques. Good work. A few more times and up. We're going to do the hip rotation. So in this position, oh, keep it apart. Just rotate your hips. Big circle. Good. Warming up the hips. All right, and then the other side. We always want muscle balance, so remember to always work on both sides. more times. Good. Now we're going to open up the hip flexor. Open up. Switch. Slow. Switch. Good. Up. Good work. A few more times. Last two. And last one. Good. Now we're going to bring it in. Nice and easy. Now the other direction, same leg, the other direction. Not too much pressure. Good. A few more times. Almost there. Two, one. Now switch side, rotate up. Feel the tension on your foot and glutes. 
Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, shake it off. Next time we'll be doing lunges. All good. So what will happen? We will have one feet at the front. Have your right feet at the front. I'm gonna show you the side view. Right feet at the front. Only going up and down for 20 seconds, and we will switch side. All right. Three, two, one, and let's go. Just down and up. Focus is more on your back leg. Your body should not be leaning to the front. You should only be going up and down. Good. To keep your balance, you can have your hands on your hip. Good job. Alright, and switch side. So the other feet at the front, the other feet at the back, and down. Body upright. Three, two, one, and rest. Good work. So next up, we'll be sit up. We're gonna be lying down. Sit up position. So if you cannot come all the way up, it's fine. So we're gonna come all the way up and down. If you can't come up, so shoulder blade is on the floor, it's good enough. Alright. Three, two, one, and let's go. So if you can sit up all the way. Now, if you find it hard to come up, if you have a sofa in front of you, you can have your feet tucked under the sofa. Use that as a support to come up. Good. Now, if this is challenging for you, alright, you can feel free to do crunches so you don't feel the pressure on the lower back or your tailbone. Choose whichever option is more comfortable for you. Most time, few more, and rest. Good work. So next up will be bridge in line down position, hands at the side. What you'll be doing, having a heel near to you, just lift up and squeeze the glutes. All right, this is option one. Now if you want more higher intensity, you can have it open up and squeeze the butt cheek. All right, the side view, we squeeze the butt cheek using the side of your heel, push it up. This is higher intensity. You should feel the squeeze on your glutes. Up. All right, for easier, feet apart. Feel on your glutes, bring up and squeeze the butt cheek. Nice, you should feel warm and a little bit sweaty by now. And reach the core at the same time. Good. Choose your option. Have to rush into the movement. All right, and rest. So next one is going to be slightly interesting. We're going to work on the back, which is the reverse elbow push. So you're going to use your elbow to push yourself up and squeeze your shoulder blade at the same time. You will feel more on your back. All right. We have a few more seconds rest. In three, two, one. So elbow on the side. Push yourself off. Push yourself off. Good attention on the back. This might look easy, but not really so. Good. Use the elbow to push. Slow. Strength exercise. Push it up. We're gonna go back to the first one, which is a squat. All right, let's get ready. Back to our strength exercise. Ten more seconds rest. Wipe your sweat if you need to. Going back to squat. I'm gonna show you the side view again. All right. So have your glutes pointing to the back. And go to squat and up. Take note, your upper body should not be coming too far front. All right. Glutes to the back. What I do not want to see is this. Let's do it right. So good sound. Nice work. Now, so another thing is try not to have your knees collapse in. Make sure your knees follow your toes. Good work. 
five more seconds.
breathe. Good. Continue. We have about 10 more seconds. So a little bit of endurance and also test of your balance. Nice work. All right, shake it off if you need to. We will be doing the other side. Ah, I'm starting by now. Are you ready? So, you're gonna be standing on your right leg. It's really easier for you now. Once you're ready, five more seconds in three, two, one. Let's bring it up. Up. Now, one of the tricks to really keep your balance is to engage your core. Alright? Only toe tapping. You're only tapping with your toes. Good. Have your toes pointed. Lift up. Good. Up. Don't forget your breathing. Good work. Almost there. Breathe. Feeling the tension on the quads? Yes. Good. Three, two, one. Now relax. You should feel a little bit tension on your quads already. Now, what is happening next? You're gonna have more tension on your quads. Next up, we will be holding for 40 seconds. Alright? If you really cannot take it anymore, it's okay. You can have it slight height. You don't have to go all the way up. So choose your option. Alright? And leave. We're gonna just hold here for 40 seconds. Same thing, engage your core, and it tight, and stay there for 40 seconds. Now if you want more challenge, pull your toes down. You'll feel more tension in your calf as well. Good. Give it a try. Now if you're really afraid of falling, have a chair in front of you. Do not grab hold of the chair. Only having your fingertips to tap on the chair. Oh, done. We're almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. Shake it off. Shake it off. Okay, we're going to test the other side to see if the other side is as strong. You're going to have your left feet up, which should be stronger because you're standing on your right. All right. We have about five more seconds to go. So, three, two, one, and lift up. If you can, waist height. If you can't, this high is good as well. So if you want more challenge, high and toes pointed. Good. Now if this is still too easy for you, feel free to pause. Nice. This is slightly tougher. So choose your option. Because when you are pausing, you realize you're trying to balance yourself. Almost there. two different levels. Now level three, you're going to hold up, clap. With your feet still high up and clap. Alright, we're going to have our right feet up. In three, two, one. Let's go. So knee up and clap. Balance. As much as you can. Just look at me all the way throughout. 
So what if you're and stay staying there? Up. 
only one night, three, four. Mm -hmm. Take your time to find your balance. Almost there. And rest. Now, last two movements, we will be doing single leg calf raise. Alright, so you're going to have your right feet now and left feet up. So we're going to try this single leg. So if you find that you can't balance, you can have it pulled on and just lift up and down. Alright, a little bit challenging, so have a chair beside you if you need. Ready, and let's go. So lift up, down. So 40 seconds work for this. Don't have to rush, this is much more tiring and more advanced. But it's okay, we can do this slowly. Because as you realize, everything is legs. So if you realize you can't balance anymore, it's okay. Shake it off. Again, try again. Let's go. Lean and drop. Breathe. Lift up. Good. Ten more seconds, guys. Take your time. left leg, your right leg. So now, let's switch and see whether it's getting better. Alright, shake it off, shake it off. Single leg is slightly tougher. Ready. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lift up. So lift up and drop. So one leg is usually stronger than the other side. It's very normal. So once you figure that, Training the train the other side as well so that both sides are equal. Good. Single leg lift. Calf raises, working on your calf and also you should be on your hamstring a little, but majority part is on the calf. Breathe. Nice work. If you need a chair, go ahead and grab. Or you can use the wall as well, keep your balance. So first off, let's go to the floor. Let's go to the floor. So we're gonna do cat and cow pose for stretching. Alright? So on pause. So first off, we're gonna do cat pose. Make sure you round your back as much as you can. And cow pose, exhale. Extend your spine. Now we're gonna do it a few more times. Charge your back. Go. 
on the other side. Feel the stretch on your little bit. Thank you for joining me for strength, balance and flexibility and I'll see you again next time.